It was months of speculation, you'll remember. The Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk yesterday officially announced that she was stepping away. Politicians from across the political divide have paid tribute to her and her nine years as leader. But the race to replace her now begins. Joining me live is the former editor of the Courier Mail, Des Houghton. Des, great to see you. First of all, what's her legacy, Good to do you see think? you too. Um... She has a very mixed legacy, I think, Laura. Um, Anastasia is the accidental Premier who came in on a wave of discontent in 2015 uh, when voters turned on Campbell Newman. But since then, uh, she's had a very bad run. Not everything has gone Anastasia's way. Um, although she is person personable enough herself uh, and voters seem to warm to her, uh, her ministers, uh, one after another, uh, have presided over a series of disasters uh, not not seen before in this state. And um, slowly, the popularity, uh, her popularity waned and people turned against her. In the last four or five polls, she's been in a downhill slide um, and clearly it was time to go. Yeah, but... Some of her detractors might have said it was time to go months ago. So what do you think was the tipping point here? Uh, I think the tipping point was a series of backroom meetings in the last couple of days with um, uh, Gary Bullock, Blocker, the Labor uh, heavyweight in the union movement here. Um, he, he claims to control um, the numbers in Parliament um, and... Uh, you know, overwhelmingly uh, support him. Uh, and he told her that he wanted a change. And apparently Battams, John Battams, the president of the party, also told her that she could not possibly win the next election. Mm. And 10 months out, it was the time for her to go so they could have enough time to install a replacement. Uh, and that's likely to be Stephen Miles. Really? Why do you say that? Because certainly that was the endorsement that Anastasia Palaszczuk gave yesterday and the opposition uh, today have said, well, if it's Stephen Miles, great, because they feel like that that's good for them and that is the best chance that they have of winning against Stephen Miles. Yes, um, Stephen Miles, while he has the numbers in the party, uh, I don't think he has the popular support in the community at all. Uh, the Courier Mail, uh, when he first came to Parliament, nicknamed him Giggles because he was always um, uh, he was always um, laughing and rather shy of himself when he spoke in Parliament. Uh, he's he's over all that, but the nickname has stuck. Um, interestingly enough, uh, the person who could uh, be the more popular Premier would be Shannon Fentiman the health minister, mm. um, she has a very stripy record as well. But I notice in a Courier-Mail poll today, she's polling twice as many as um, Stephen Miles. So, you know, who knows? But it would be very messy and it would take weeks and weeks and weeks unless they decide on one person on Friday and go with that person. Uh, and at this stage, Miles clearly has the numbers. Fentiman's has counted the numbers behind the scenes and she hasn't got them. Yeah, really interesting. So do you think those numbers have a potential to shift before Friday or the factions are uh, locked in? I mean, I, I did think, you know, it did pique my interest, let's say, that I thought Anastasia Palaszczuk, she could have... She, she had the opportunity to endorse a female successor. She didn't choose to do that, but that's just kind of how factions work, right? Yes, um, she she has a lot of puppet masters behind the scenes and they always do in the Labor Party. Mm. Uh, we don't know there. W will, will the numbers shift? Who knows? I mean, wouldn't you like to be a fly on the wall at some of the uh, discussions <laughs> that are going on? People, of course, claim to be in the, the left faction or the right faction. <clears throat> but if they think someone like Shannon Fentiman uh, better serves their interests and will be will help them regain their seat. Um, the survival is the, is the most basic instinct for in Parliament. So they will change their votes, yes. I think you're quite right in, in suggesting that. Yep. 
uh, having lived through a fair few leadership challenges in my time, one thing is true. Oh, and we miss you in Queensland. <laughs> it will be true as well, right? Self-interest always wins, Des. It does. Yep. Well, that's what we can guarantee this week. Des and I are guaranteeing nothing else. Good to chat to you, Des. We'll see you soon. All the best.